Hello and welcome to UC Today. My name is David Dungay. We are here reporting live from UC Expo in London. I have with me Daniel Root from Barco. Welcome to the show, Daniel. How are you? It's great to be here today with you, David. I got to say, it's a it's an awesome event so far. It is. It's been fantastic. Lots of Star Wars men walking yeah. around, which I'm not quite sure what that's about, but it's uh, definitely interesting. Um, Dan, I want to talk about meeting switching. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. We see this day in day out uh, with people who are joining customer meetings. They're joining meetings from people outside of their organization and it's kind of a bit of a clunky situation and what are you seeing there what, what is the challenge from Barco's perspective your perspective that we need to solve as an industry so I think for us we look at it as how do you find the lowest common denominator that's going to happen within that room if the meeting space needs to be flexible to the point where maybe you have a guest maybe you have an external party coming in to make a presentation whether that be a, a client or be somebody that's helping you with a strategy project the challenge becomes how do I get this person who's not federated on my tenant, who's not authorized, fully into the meeting as quickly as possible without really slowing down that process of getting the meeting going? And so a lot of times within uh, you know certain room systems, that can really create some barriers to entry for folks um, where you spend 10 or 15 minutes trying to either send a file across to somebody else who can access the meeting or vice versa, get you somehow authenticated so you can share it off your device. So with meeting switching, what we've done is basically said, we love the idea of the room system. It makes perfect sense, but we still need to, to deal with these other scenarios and workflows that happen in the room. And so ClickShare is working to basically work hand in hand with like a Microsoft Teams room or a Zoom room where we can allow for someone to come in, use the ClickShare device, plug it in, click the button, and share that content into a Teams call or a Zoom call that's ongoing. Or alternatively, if you're in a Teams environment, but we need to make a Zoom call in that room, that can also become a challenge for folks. And so what we allow you to do is use ClickShare before starting a meeting to run the meeting directly from your personal device and scale it using the conferencing technology we already have so that you can walk in, run a Zoom call as if it's just a full room system um, directly off your device and then switch back to Microsoft. It's, um, it's, I find this fascinating. You know, we're seeing this kind of AV type solutions really explode into this space. Mm. Um, you know, when I look around the room as well, more and more of this room is being yes. filled with you know, those AV players. Um, What's your take on that? You know, why are we seeing that? And why is that so important for the evolution of UC? Well, I think, you know, we've been noticing for the last couple of years and talked about this. I think we've even talked about this previously on some sessions around the shift from AV to IT. And AV is becoming an, a component of IT, um, but it is not necessarily driving all the decisions anymore around the hardware and software that's within your meeting spaces. And so I think this is a perfect example of the industry recognizing the shift in how things are purchased and how procurement goes. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mind if we take it back 10 seconds? Um, I think for the, the most part, this is the recognition here in the market that we're moving to a different way of purchasing and a different way of selling more or less within the market. And many of the devices are really now made more for an IT channel. These all-in-one capable bars that run a Microsoft Teams environment or a Zoom environment are much better suited to an IT channel sale versus an AV value add conversation. Um, the AV value adds and channel are really more able to help figure out a higher level on the architecture. But when you get down to, hey, I just need another box sitting in a room, you, you gotta compete on price at that point. And that tends to fall more in the IT channel realm at this moment in time. So I think most of these vendors here are recognizing that shift and kind of adapting to it and figuring out how do we play within the IT um, decision-making process. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. A lot, a lot of that hybrid workplace conversation is, is hyper-focused on that, on the meeting room, meeting room experience and what that looks like. Um, you know, what, what are you sort of looking forward to over the next 12 months from the, the meeting room space? Um, what, it, what, what are the highlights for you as you can see coming, coming down the road? So uh, it, from a Barco perspective and even from an industry perspective, I think great technology gets out of the way. It needs to be something that you don't notice that you're using all the time. And that usually means you're doing it well. If I don't have to stop to ask, what is this product? How do I use it? 
that means it's doing its job for me. And so I think we're seeing more and more of like a seamless meeting experience where I don't have to learn the room. I don't have to take training courses to be able to just start a call and run my day-to-day -day operations, but something that really meets me where I am. So if I'm running into a room late and I already got the call going on my laptop, I'm just gonna plug in, click share and run with it or use a different way of communicating versus necessarily using the room system. But if we have a more you know, organized meeting, we're meeting with the board, something along those lines, a room system is obviously going to be preferential in that moment. Yeah, I mean, it's, like, it's, it's so fantastic and like where the meeting has come, come from, right? Um, and how many times have we burned 20, 30, 40% of a meeting trying to get the meeting going, getting the right information? And that is really, really starting to, to shorten that life cycle yes. now. And it's uh, fantastic to see. Look, Dan, thanks so much for joining me. Oh, thank you for having insights. me. This has been fantastic. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Be watching me, David Dungate, on UC Today.